Virgo, welcome to December 2013. Now this is a general forecast for the Sun in Virgo, Virgo Ascendant, and Moon in Virgo. My, you are busy bees in December. That's because your ruling planet changes directions twice. Mercury moves into Sagittarius on December 4th, and then into Capricorn on December 24th. So unlike October and November, you are moving. You are on the move in December. You are making things happen and you are setting the foundation for your success in 2014 and also in December. So you're setting the success for your success now and in 2014. And we have the Sagittarius new moon on December 2nd, and this happens for you in the area of your foundation. Sagittarius is four signs from you, so it rules the fourth house, and this is about your personal power, this is about where you live, this is about the inner home, the outer home, and uh, I like this new moon, and I love the Gemini full moon. Sagittarius and Gemini are the party signs of the zodiac, like the Leos and the Aquarians, and so this is party time. So you will be celebrating the holidays. You'll be celebrating um, in December, having fun, hanging out, uh, hanging with family, hanging with friends, having a really good time. Then uh, Mars enters Libra on December 7th. And Mars will be in Libra for eight months. So Libra is rules your second house it's it's right next to you it's a it's a neighbor <laughs> like a sibling that lives next door and mars is going to be in this area of your life for eight months um, because mars will retrograde in libra march 1st through um may 20th and will enter scorpio uh on july 28th so almost till august mars will be in leap uh, uh mars will be in libra and so this is, I like, I like having Mars in this area because if you hustle, you make a lot of money. That's with Mars. Mars is the hustle planet. Mars is the action planet. Mars is the do it, make it happen, go for it. It's your drive in life. It's your passion. It's your energy. Without Mars, we can't get anything done. So having Mars in the area of your investments, your inner resources, your talents, gifts, and abilities, your outer resources, your time, your energy, and your heart focused in projects, work, health, goals, you can be very successful, even when it's retrograde. Now, when it's retrograde, and I'll talk about that more uh, when it comes up, but you know, that's an opportunity to look at how you can cut back on expenses. Now, when Mars is in the second house, sometimes expenses can come up that we didn't plan for, and it can also bring extra income to play, pay for those expenses. So it is still a very strong placement for Mars. It's a positive placement for Mars. And uh, the more you hustle, the more you earn, the more you earn, the more you have. So Mars is going to empower you to work more, make more money. And so if there are uh, expenses that come up that you didn't plan on, you'll have the resources to take care of it. Now, Jupiter is in Cancer, and it's about to form a harmonious energy flow with Saturn in Scorpio. And this is very good for you because Jupiter is in the area of your life that has to do with being lucky. It has to do with sudden opportunities, sudden windfalls, friends you network with, uh, groups you belong to. Uh, it's your hopes and your wishes, and it's in harmony with Saturn in the area of your life that has to do with your mind, your conscious mind your intellect, your perception, your attitude, your habit patterns, short distance travel, neighbors, visitors. Uh, so, so this is a very positive energy. It goes exact on December 12th and it will come back again in December, uh, excuse me, in 2014 because um, Mercury is going direct in a few hours and it is totally, it's just been so interesting recording this weekend with Mercury retrograde. There's been so many things I've had to do over. So I'm so looking forward to Mercury going direct. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So Saturn in harmony with Jupiter is very beneficial for you because you're an earth sign and the water, when you water the earth, things grow. 
So Scorpio sextiles you. Cancer sextiles you. So whatever you're publishing, whatever you're working on, you could see a financial breakthrough in December and also in 2014. This is a wonderful energy if you're creating a new website, if you're writing something, you're writing a book, you're writing, you know, uh, anything that you're writing, anything that you're creating, you're using the power of your mind to create something. This is a wonderful energy to make things happen. When you take the master strategist Jupiter and you put it with the master builder Saturn, you build lasting success. You make your dreams come true. And this is working for you in the area of communication. It's also working for you in the area of your goals and your friends and your hopes, wishes, and dreams and the money you make from the business you own or the money you make from the company you work for. So this is about increasing your money and, um, you know, you're seeking long-term strategies here. This is about making long-term strategies. So whatever you're doing, you want to be looking out into 2014 and beyond and looking at your strategies and seeing if what you're doing is going to bring that return on investment of your time, energy, money, talents, gifts, and abilities. Now we have the fabulous Gemini full moon on December 17th and Uranus goes direct just a few hours after the full moon. I love this full moon. There's nothing ugly on it. It's a party moon. We need to party. We need to celebrate. Um, and this is happening for you in the area of your destiny in the world, your legacy in the world, your reputation in the world. Gemini, Gemini is 10 signs from you. And so this is about your achievement in the world, your passion in the world. It's lighting up. And you could have a breakthrough here. You could, you know, some of you may be having some sort of breakthrough in your um, career, your legacy in the world, your reputation in the world, your destiny in the world coming in here in December. Very strong for you. It's also a time and an opportunity for you to redefine success for yourself. Do not allow society to determine success for you. You determine your success. You define success based on your core values. Mars is in the area of your core values, your true values, what you love and value. Now the sun enters Capricorn on December 21st, and just a few hours after solstice when the sun enters Capricorn, Venus goes retrograde. And Venus will be retrograde until the end of January. Venus retrograde is like Mercury retrograde. Mercury rules our mind and communication. Venus rules what you love and value. Venus rules your money. So with Venus in reverse, it's not a good time to take out a loan. It's, uh, you know, until after Venus goes direct. It's a time to, re to strategize loans. You know, like, okay, I want to take out a loan here. Or I want to refinance my house or refinance my car or eliminate debt, right? You're going to be thinking about that with Mars in that area for eight months. That's all good. You take action when Venus goes direct, just like we wait for Mercury to go direct and take action. Now we wait for Venus to go direct on uh, February 1st to take action. Capricorn is a sister sign. Capricorn is five signs from you. So this is a positive energy for you. Capricorn rules the area of creative self-expression, passionate projects, passion, love affairs, true love, romance, risk-taking, sports, children, creativity. Creative self-expression, self-confidence. So this is a wonderful energy for you, and Venus is going to be there for five months. Now, this can bring new relationship for some people, or it can bring someone from your past back into your, you, to your life. And I like Venus retrograde for past relationships. When Venus is retrograde, I don't want to start a new relationship or a new business partnership or a new project. Now, when Venus is retrograde, it's okay to go back over a project you haven't finished and finish it. It's great to go back over things you haven't completed and complete them. Or if you have an old love, an old flame, an old friendship you want to go back and visit with, reunions are great for Venus retrograde. Venus is going to be in here for five months, though, boosting your love life, boosting your creativity. So it can bring someone new once she goes direct or before she goes retrograde. And, um, you know, go for it. Why not? 
Now, for some of you, you've been struggling in relationship, especially for those Virgos that are born in the first week of Virgo, or you have plants points in your chart uh, and houses, early degree Virgos, because Neptune has been opposing it. And when Neptune opposes anything, we are challenged to see the object clearly. We are challenged to see the person clearly. So some of you have had some really big lessons in love and relationships and not falling for the words, not falling for the potential of the person, not falling for the possibility with the person, but seeing the person for who they really are and not who you want them to be. Neptune is moving direct and moving up. And so those born the second week in uh, Virgo or have Virgo ascendant will now be challenged by Neptune in 2014. So I'll talk about that more um, in the January uh, astrology forecast. But you know, wherever Neptune is, is where we can be fooled. And for you, it's in the seventh house of relationships, intimate relationship, business partnership, the public. So be the smart Virgo that you are. Never believe what people say. Always believe what we do. If what they do matches with what they say, then you've got someone who has integrity. If they say one thing and they do something else, that is not someone who's honest with you. And you have to take care of you. And you have to love you more than the need to fix, save, and rescue someone else, other people. They should already come saved. <laughs> they should already come fixed. <laughs> okay? And so, um, just thought I'd mention that. Now, we've got the Sun in Capricorn, Venus in Capricorn, and your ruling planet in Capricorn at the time of the holidays. And this is lighting up the love life. So you do have to pay attention to what others are promising you. And especially those that want to commit with you, want to move in with you, want to form a business with you, want to marry you. Really find out who these people are before you sign on the dotted line. Now, what's really interesting is we end December with a lot of fireworks because um, Capricorn is coupled with Pluto in Capricorn and it's activating the grand square. Uranus in Aries, Mars in Libra, and Jupiter in Cancer. This is intense. This is fireworks. We are ending 2013 in fireworks. We are going into 2014 with fireworks going off in every direction. Now for you, Capricorn is a sister sign. It pours positive energy in for you. So you're ready to go. You're ready. You are just like so ready for the new. You are like, if it's not working, great. What's going to work for me? Let me go. You're so ready for the future. You're like on fire, ready to go. You're not, you're not hanging on. I think the only challenge is, is you, you, you have to be a bit patient for others to catch up to you because you are moving so fast in December. You're ready for 2014. You're ready for the new. You're ready for new work, new relationships, new love, new adventures, new activities, new focus. But we have to wait, wait for others to catch up to the Oh, great one, Virgo. <laughs> so you got to wait, wait for others. Um, and so, because others are not experiencing the Pluto as well as you are. Pluto's trying in the Virgos. Pluto is empowering you. Pluto is giving you so much power. And so no matter what Neptune's doing or anybody else is doing, you got the power. Pluto is trining all the Virgos and will be training you for years to come until it reaches Aquarius in 2024. 2024. Um, Pluto reaches Aquarius um, in 2024. Okay, so um, your ruling planet couples with the sun on December 29th in the area of true love and romance and creative self-expression and passionate projects. There could be a message for you that day. There could be something really wonderful and interesting that comes in that day for you. Like, whoa. I have a great idea for a new business. Whoa, I have a great idea for a new project. And pay attention. Synchronicities are going to happen that day. There's going to be messages from the universe for you specifically on that day, on the 29th, when the sun merges with, Plu uh, with Mercury conjunct. And um, it's wonderful. It's fabulous. And it's in such a fun area for you. This is the area where you're creative and you're fun and your inner child comes alive and you're confident and you're ready to love. You're ready for the new. You're ready to move forward. 
Now, for those of you that are coupled and happily coupled, it's good for you too. It is um, perhaps a new project for you and your partner to work on. Uh, perhaps the two of you are thinking about um, starting a business together or having a baby or um, buying a new property. Um, it's a wonderful energy for coupled Virgos too. So, but remember, relationships, like anything, you have to continuously invest in them or they go stale. So even though you've been with someone a long time, you want to reinvent that relationship. You want to bring the romance in. You want to bring the sparks in. And this can help you bring sparks and romance to your relationship. It's very good. Now, the Sun and Mars will square Uranus on December 30th, and Mercury will merge with Pluto and square Mars on the 31st, and we have the Capricorn New Moon on New Year's Day, January 1st. The Sun and the Moon emerge with Pluto, all activating this grand square. So from Christmas through the first few days of January 2014, there's going to be fireworks going off in every direction. It's going to be really interesting. So this is about you for you, it's about what you love and value, looking at what others love and value. It's about romance and risk-taking. It's about the love you give to others. It's about the love you receive from others. You are weighing things up. You are evaluating things. You are looking at um, your objectives and goals here at the end of the year in 2014. And are they in alignment with your core values, what you truly love and value? Are your goals and objectives, what you're doing, wherever your body is, is it in alignment with what you love and value? So in other words, if you, you know, love to be creative, what are you doing over here where it's not creative, right? Wherever the body is, you want to bring that body and the mind over to your goals, align those goals to what you love and value, and you will promote your success. And redefine success for yourself. Don't let society tell you What's, how you're supposed to be or what you're supposed to be. That's living the illusion. If you want to live the dream, <laughs> you define success for yourself. Now with Mercury and Pluto hooking up here at the end, and it will be hanging around at the new moon, that could, I have this natally. You, you, we do, we can become obsessed with whatever we're thinking about. We can just think it to death. <laughs> and so, so you are the thinkers of the Zodiac, you and the Gemini. So you want to... Um, let it go, you know? Your song for this uh, grand square, two oppositions, four squares, with Pluto, Uranus, Jupiter, and Mars is Let It Be. Let it be, let it be. And that's what you'll be singing at this time. Speaking words of wisdom, let it be. And so you are seeking long-term strategies. You are looking to shift uh, maybe some goals, maybe some relationships, some friendships that are no longer serving you or groups you associate with. Uranus wants to empower you to um, have more money coming in, to perhaps restructure some debt, perhaps uh, set some boundaries. Uh, this is a very good energy for you to do that. If you're feeling restless by the end of the month, you know, just work out more, take more walks. Uh, put the energy into projects. Allow others to catch up with you. You know, the restlessness is coming is because you're ready for 2014. You're ready for 2015. You're ready for the new. You're ready to make things happen. You're ready, okay? But don't forget now, your soulmate has his or her astrology too, or your business partner, or whoever you want to be with. We have to wait for them to catch up to you. And you are flying forward here in December uh, into the new year. But you're in a strong position. Pluto is empowering you. Mars is empowering you. Saturn is strengthening you. Jupiter is strengthening you. You have a strong focus in the career sector. You have um, so much going for you. I think, you know, if you can be patient at the end of the word, I'm using that dirty P word, you will find that you are really building something here that is going to last for years to come. You're going to be very successful in 2014. And, um, you know, so just be patient for others to catch up with you because you're ready to go. And it's exciting. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching.
Thank you for liking, favoring, and sharing my podcast. You're so awesome. Thank you for subscribing, Virgo. You totally rock. And I want to say Happy New Year, Happy Holidays. And if you would like to have me take a detailed look at your astrology, it's very easy. The link is below. You go to my astrology page, purchase your session. Once I see you've made that purchase, I send you my schedule. And you choose the day and the time that you want. And we're off and running, rocking and rolling. Or if you're interested in coaching, it's very easy. You go to my coaching page. The link is below. You purchase your session. We can work on an issue. We can work on long-term strategy. We can work on um, your goals. We can work on your core values, aligning your goals with your values, relationships, whatever you want to work on. All you do is purchase your session. Once I see you've made that commitment, I send you my schedule. You choose the day and the time that you want. We're off and running, rocking and rolling. So I will be back soon with your year ahead 2014 astrology forecast. Until then, tons of love, blessings, abundance, whatever your heart's desire, may it come true. Thank you.